Okay, you guys, I'm back. Uh, I didn't explain to you the first uh, video because you can see I'm at an angle in my bathroom. If I sit the other way, that is so much of a yellow hue that it was distracting me. Okay, so we left off at a cliffhanger in Luke chapter 4 with this number 40, okay? So this is the account where Jesus is in the wilderness for 40 days and for 40 nights. And we read the Bible all the time. But when the Holy Spirit is upon you and he reveals things, he teaches you, he shows you, he, he mm, let me show you something. Watch this and watch what happens. Uh, I'm going to read something for you. Let, I'm going to read verses 1 through 4. And Jesus, being full of the Holy Ghost, returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. He is Jesus in the wilderness. Being 40 days tempted of the devil, and in those days he did eat nothing. And when they were ended, he afterward hungered. And the devil said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, command this stone that it be made bread. Verse 4, And Jesus answered him, saying, it is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Now, let me go back, because I bet you didn't catch this. I didn't either at the first, but watch this. Verse 1 said, And Jesus, being full of the Holy Ghost, returned from Jordan and was led in the wilderness by the Spirit of the Lord. Watch. Right? Yeah. Okay? So verse 2 said that he was in the wilderness for 40 days, and the devil tempted him. And in those days, he ate nothing. But notice in verse 1, it said that he was full of the Holy Ghost. And Satan didn't come to him until, wait, it says that he was, afterward, he was hungry. Afterward? So what was he full on? What was he full on? Okay, so he was, at this point, baptized already. He had been through the water. And remember the, the dove, that same dove that was in Genesis, the same that lit on him? Okay, and, it, and, and the Lord, the, the heavens opened and said, and said, this is my son who I'm well pleased, and it descended upon him. He was already. Why? Because in that dry land, and I hope I'm not giving this up too early, in the dry land, I, I'm giving it up too early. I'm not, I'm not going to give it up right now, but uh, y'all going to be getting a lot of revelations in this too as I'm giving it. It was already spoken to me. So the revelations that you get, give them to me, please leave a comment. Leave it to, to me, okay? Uh, being 40 days tempted of the devil, in those days he did eat nothing, and when they were ended, he afterward hung. Okay, so he was hungry after. Wow. And the devil said unto him, uh, if thou be the son of God, command the stone to be made bread. Watch this, verse 5. And the devil taking him up unto a high mountain. See, here it is. We read this all the time and never see, saw this. Remember we read in Exodus, there was a taken up in the book of Genesis. There was a taken up. Why was Satan with Jesus trying to do the same thing? What did he do? Just like Moses was taken up to the, the, the mountains uh, with the Lord for 40 days with the Ten Commandments. The Ten. Ten Commandments. The Hands. The law of the Lord, the hands of God. Woo! Boy, 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 boy. Okay, so verse 5, And the devil taking him up into a high mountain showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of the time. And the devil said unto him, All this, watch this, power. All this power. See, Satan knew something right then is why he tried to tip Jesus. But he knew there was power, okay, and, and power in the what? Watch this. He said, 
I will give thee in the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me to whomsoever I will give it. <laughs> if thou therefore wilt worship me, all shall be mine. And Jesus answered to him and said for unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and only him shall I serve. But wait a minute, I skipped something. Um, when it said, because watch this. Is this not the, okay, here it is again, watch this. And he brought him to Jerusalem and set him on a pinnacle of a temple and said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, if. If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down from hence. Jesus, for it is written, he shall give his, no, this Satan, for it is written, he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time they shall dash, you shall dash your foot against the stone. What did Satan say? The, hang, the angels going to bear you up in their hands. There it is again. That's why the Lord has us in the book of Psalms. Because he's always with us. We are always in his hands. When we're in the book of Psalms, we're in, his, we're in the palm of his hands. See, Satan knew that. And Jesus, Jesus answered, said unto him, It is said, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Wow. So watch this. In uh, Luke chapter 3, verses 21 through 22. Now when all the people were baptized, it came to pass that Jesus also being baptized and praying, the heaven was opened. See, he was baptized in chapter 3. Okay, Thor, he went through the dry land, the wilderness. Watch this, verse 22. And the Holy Ghost. Descended in a bodily shape like a dove upon him, and a voice came from heaven which said, Thou art my son, my beloved son, and thee I am well pleased. That's why he wasn't hungry. He was full of the Holy Ghost. But remember, he went through that water. And in the beginning was the Word. He was the Word, okay? And then there was the, the, the water, okay? So he was already full. But and then it says afterwards, okay? So then you have that same dove that Jesus was full because of the water, the Holy Ghost. You know when um, you go to church and you've been in church and, and you would hear ministers, leaders, pastors sometime, or, or just the Christians would say, well, believers, would say, oh, I'm so full. I'm so full right now. They they be talking about the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost filled, full. Okay? So there is power, power in that water. There is power in the hands. Okay? When used in the name, with the name, in the name of Jesus. Okay? In my name you shall. Lay hands on the sick and they shall recover, right? And uh, there is power in the water. And we know that in the latter scriptures, in verse 14 of, of uh, Luke chapter 4, it says, And Jesus returned in the power. Wow. See, Satan knew what he was about to come into. He knew it. That's why he tried to offer him that false power first. But then he had the power, and then uh, into Galilee, and there went out a fame of him throughout all the region about. Verse 17, and there was delivered unto him the book of prophet Isaiah. Now I know why the Lord had me in the book of Isaiah, so I can hear the words that I, I, he could, I can hear the words that Isaiah, everything he say, okay? All right, so the Spirit of the Lord is upon me, and he anointed me to preach uh, to the uh, gospel of, uh, to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to captives, recover the sight of the blind, the liberty they are that are bruised. Verse 19, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. That's what we are approaching, the acceptable year of the Lord, Okay. 
So watch this. John chapter 4. Turn over there real quick. The book of John chapter 4. Verse 10. And Jesus answered and said unto her, If thou knewest the gift of God, and who it is that said to thee, Give me to drink, thou wouldest have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. Verse 13 through 14, Jesus answered and said to her, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I, he says, shall give him, shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. Wow. Let's go back to John chapter 3. Verses 2. Then, I'm sorry, the same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. For no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. God was with Noah. God was with the children of Israel. God is with you right now. We just don't ever feel like it or know it sometimes. Sometimes we, we're like the children when they were saying, Moses, why didn't you tell us? You got us out here in Egypt and there is no crazy. Why you sent us out here uh, to die? We got a quick complaint. And what did Moses say? Stand still and know that he is God. All right? Hmm. All right. So verse 3. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot See the kingdom of God. Mm. Verse 4. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Verse 5. Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water, wow, and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Verse 14. And as Moses lifted up, the serpent in the wilderness, there it is again, the wilderness, the wilderness. Even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Now watch this revelation. The wilderness is basically a desert, a uninhabited, uncultivated place of a dry area. Then Jesus walks through full of the Holy Ghost of the water, which is the water that's on the, the spirit of the Lord, is on the face of the earth. Jesus, the water, the living water, had to go through that dry land. And if I'm not mistaken, that was the last time he had to come through that water. So right now we're in this time where the Lord is getting ready to purify us and we're coming through He's coming through our dry land. He's coming through our dry land, you guys. So our birth, watch this, to term, pregnancy, to term, a, a baby, mm -hmm. 40 weeks, 40 weeks. Now, would you say pregnancy is a bad thing? No, you would not, unless you got pregnant and didn't want to be pregnant. But being pregnant is not a bad thing because, watch this, I know that I don't have to explain what goes on during the 40 weeks of a pregnancy, but the 40 weeks is uh, primarily the full term. Oh, but let me explain this. There is water around the baby in the mother's womb. So even then, the Lord have us. There's that picture of the water in that 40-day gestational period before the blessing comes. Because, see, when Jesus walked through that dry land as the water and the purification and the restoration through that wilderness, that power came. Okay? So, um, there is a final outcome of labor that is influenced by four factors. Number one, the passage, which is the pelvic area. 
of where the woman has the baby. Okay? The the power. Number two is the power. What? The powers? When I saw that I Woo, okay. Which is the the powers is the contractions or forces of the uterus. Number three is the passenger. And we're talking about the four outcome of labor. Okay? So number three is the passenger, which is the fetus, the baby. Number four is the mother's psyche, which is her emotional state and anxiety. And let me tell you, there's a lot of anxiety and emotions going on at that time. So after that 40 weeks, and I read you guys, it said that uh, some women, most gestational periods is 40 weeks and six days. 40 weeks and six days. That's why all over the Bible, the Lord in that nine months that we are in the ninth hour, attribute everything to as a woman in travail. Okay, so um, after that 40 weeks and the baby is out, the mom is rejoicing. Whew, that pain is gone. There's a baby about to be born, and his name is Jesus Christ. I'm just saying. Okay, so the whole point is lift him up. Lift him up. That's when all the blessings flow. You ever hear people say when praises go up, blessings come down, and uh, the windows of heaven are open, the power, the blessings from the water on the high, the living water will rain on you. If you're in any type of trial, tribulation, don't get the false thing from Satan, okay? We have to lift him up. And, and there is a, it said in verse 14 of uh, John chapter 3, it says, And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Watch this. Let me show you something. Thank you, Holy Spirit, because I almost forgot. Let's run on over to, um, wait, did I cover everything? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, watch this. Before I even go there, watch this. This came to me after the birthday. I was on my way from the grocery store today and, and got this 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 birthday. I was like, the, the Holy Spirit did. Came and gave that to me. I was like, oh, that's right. And water. Water is around us. When we when 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 the baby is in the belly. Oh, that's right. A woman is at full term in 40 weeks. And you can hear the Holy Spirit say, now is that a bad thing? No. No. Okay. So watch this. This is something else that the Holy Spirit brought to me, and it was powerful. I need you to see this. John chapter 5, verse 2 through 8. This is at 5 and 8 again. 5 times 8 is... 40. I'm just saying. Okay. So watch this. This is after there was a feast of the Jews and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Verse 2. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda. Okay. Having five porches. In these lay a great multitude of impotent folk, of blind, halt, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain season in the pool and troubled the water. <laughs> Whosoever when then first after the troubling of the water stepped in was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. So, verse 6, I'm sorry, verse 5. And a certain man was there which had an affirmity 30 and eight years, 38 years. And here comes Jesus to make him whole before his 40th birthday. I'm just saying. Verse 6, when Jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been now a long time in that case, he said unto him, will thou be made whole? Do you want to be made whole? 
Mm-hmm. Verse 7, the impotent man answered him, Sir, I have no man. When the water is troubled to put me into the pool, but while I am coming, another step it down before me. Jesus said unto him, verse 8, Rise, take up thy bed and walk. Rise. So it is something about rising. It is something about getting up. So don't sit still. Get up. Rise. When you're in your prayer closet, you're in your prayer language, lift those hands. Lift those holy hands. Wave those holy hands in the air. Do your heavenly postures with your hands because there is power in your hands. Watch this. You know why the water wasn't troubled when Jesus walked up? Because he was the troubling of the living water. Go and give God some praise. God, he didn't have to do that. He was already there. The living water was already there. All Jesus had to say was, rise, take up your bed and walk. See, that's the same power that we are getting ready to step into. That's the same power. That's why we are going through some Pharaoh propositions right now. Mm-hmm. Some Pharaoh propositions, some separation. I got other family members that won't talk to me because I did the video about the tithing. And I just got some that just won't talk to me just because I didn't turn my life to Christ and they don't like me. Whatever. We pray for them. That's what we do. But I hope this has been a blessing to you guys because it has really been a blessing to me. I am so blessed that this 40 thing... You know, I, let me just show you something. I even was praying to the Lord. I was like, Lord, is this not from you? Please take it away. I don't want to see it. Take it away. Because, see, we've always, you know, boy, is testing a trial. And you're like, ooh. You know, you cringe, right? Well, let me just show you something. When the Lord is trying to get something to you, you're going to go through a few things. So, let me show you something with this. First off, today, I had a message sent from me to me from Miss Campbell at 444. Um, watch this. This was today. A video came up of mine talking about the day and the night. I, I got a new phone, too. <laughs> See that? 40%. And it was 4.40 p.m. Mm-hmm. And I just can't begin to tell you. Look at this, the 4.44s. I got so many pictures of that, the number 44. Um, it's, it's just, it's amazing. But um, I have lots and lots of pictures of this, this 40. Everywhere, the number 40. Everywhere. Um, I can't show you that because I don't want to. Okay. Okay, it was 840 here. Um, I was reading something at the time, getting trying to get answers. It's 740. I have an 840. Um, I mean, this is just like I said. I mean, whatever number that he has me to try to uh, get revelation on, it's around me everywhere. I couldn't get away from it. I couldn't. I would try my best not to see it. I would look at the clock. It's, six, it's 638. I would make sure let me find something to do. Because I don't want to see it. I don't want to see 40. I don't want to. I get a message or a phone call and see 40. You going to see it. <laughs> you going to see it. You, it's 2444. Wow. See what I'm saying? These numbers, the numbers find you. You don't look for these numbers. 
Half of us trying to run from these numbers sometimes, especially you don't know what they mean. But I'm so glad I know what 40 mean now. You can keep it now, Lord. He could stay now. <laughs> anyway, I hope you've been blessed by this video as I have. I'm going to upload the both of them now. And make sure you watch both of them because they are truly a blessing. The revelations that you get uh, from it. Um, make sure you let me know. Okay? Thanks. Love you. See you in the next video.